Hey, Michael with X-Force PC. We get a, one question we get asked a lot is about simulating the Garmin G1000. And so there's an app for that in the Android App Store. And uh, that's what you see, not the Android, excuse me, the iPhone uh, iOS App Store. And that's what you see running down here. Um, this is the PFD and the MFD. And you notice this Cessna 172, this is the x planes Cessna 172, which quite frankly isn't the greatest 172 uh, out there. Um, there's some 172s, there's one by Airfoil Labs, I think it's a, a good bit better. But um, I'm using this one because it's the one that comes with the sim. And even though, you know, this plane doesn't have a G1000 built into the instrument panel, um, we're able to run this app uh, along with it and it appears to function just fine even though this uh, 172 does not have a G1000 built into it. It's talking over the Wi-Fi network. Um, the computer's actually wired. The iPads are wireless. They just have to be on the same LAN or local area network or home network, whatever you want to call it. And they will uh, talk to each other and uh, keep everything up to date. X, there's just a plug-in for X-Plane, so you don't even have to load a piece of software. You just go into X-Plane and you uh, tell it the IP address of the iPad and you're connected. And so if you want to find this app, it's in the iOS App Store and you just search for G1000. There are two separate apps, one that's for the PFD, one for the MFD. And if you buy them together, I think they're like uh, $15 individually. I think they're about $10 each. So um, it built into the app, they have uh, settings specific for the Cessna 182T, the 172S, the 172R, and the Cessna 206H. I think it would still work with other planes. It's just things like the RPM red line and things like that wouldn't necessarily match up if you switch to a different plane. Let's go ahead and try that. Aircraft, open aircraft, go over to the trusty Baron and we'll see what happens. This, the Baron that comes with X-Plane comes with a Garmin 430 and 530 built in. No, I'm sorry, just a 530 built right into the instrument panel. And we're waiting on our scenery to update. And let's put ourselves up in the air. All right. And so, yeah, even though this, this plane doesn't come with a uh, G1000, it's still functioning. And, you know, the engine RPM and stuff like that isn't going to be... And, you know, for the oil pressure, maybe some of the, um, you know, the, where the green bars are might not quite match up because this app thinks we're flying a Cessna 172 and it's actually a um, a Baron. Um, so again, you know, some of the, and maybe the speed, you know, over here when it goes into the red may not uh, quite line up right. I'm looking to see here. So, you know, according to our RPMs, we're, we're over red line at the moment, whereas in the plane we're actually at red line. Yeah, I guess it is matching. So we're just right at the RPM limit. Let's check the speed. Yeah, so we're going into the red on the speed, right about 180. Yeah, this seems to be matching up. So, I don't know how to work a G1000. I'm not uh, trained in that. But, uh, you know, the, the buttons along the bottom here allow you to enter information. So it's a lot easier than going to the, uh, you know, to the, grabbing the mouse and typing things in and so forth. So it's a pretty good app. Um, you know, you can always download it and try it. And, you know, if you hate it, you're only out $15 anyway. So, um, you know, it's not a big deal if, uh, if you don't like it.